box you see with Hercules' arms. That's going to be placed semi near the muscles we're aiming to collect. Uh, we're going to capture some of the seawater that's near those animals and look at the bacteria within that seawater. Well, there you are, folks. That's good, Reuben. Okay, so what we're doing with that pump is pumping the surrounding seawater and looking if we can find the symbionts that are in the mussels in the surrounding seawater. The question we want to know is, do the mussels take up their symbionts from the surrounding seawater, or do they take them up from the mussels to the right and left of them? I don't know. You got some... Looks like a little anemone. Yeah, those are fly trap One of those fly traps. a bunch of mussels on... Somebody, it must be a marker that was that was dropped in. It's just floating up. I don't know. Yep, there's another little fish. This is great. Mating pair? So, oh. So those are hagfish. Hagfish, those guys are crazy. Oh, they're so slimy. If you accidentally catch some of those with the muscles, we're going to get slimed on the surface. It's funny, it's like you're going in sailing, the water, so. but you're in the water. Oh. Yeah, so on that note, the brine oh, pool yeah. is oh, three yeah. to five times more saltier, I believe, than the surrounding ocean water. And because of the difference in the salinity, the two bodies of water aren't really going to mix. You're looking right through the brine. Absolutely. Where that bright brown stops. Yeah. That is cool. See, we got good numbers right in that area right there. Oh, yeah. Making waves in the brine pool. Yeah, yeah you can see the little brine coming up. Yeah, that's oh, a real beautiful. nice area in there. Beautiful. Oh, good. Looks good, Will. Okay, uh, I, I just got to wait till this cameraman's finished. I, I okay. can't afford to have my arm pumped. Are you talking about the snails or the other mollusks? Mussels are mollusks, too. <laughs> the little snails are so we, zoom what? they're uh, grazing bacteria that live on the surface of the shells. Isn't that all little guys up in that mound or not? Um, yeah, they. I think. Well, if we zoom, we could zoom in and, and see. Look at the that one fish. Looks like it's been brined. The one to the right's not feeling well. Do you, you want to zoom in right over the front of the basket? See what that is? There. Sure, go ahead. No, those are snails. Okay, so we'll, let's uh, back up a little bit. And, Come we're gonna, and then we're going to a lateral right of, you know, three or four meters and take a look there. I think we were getting into some better territory. And we've gotten out of it now. So we got some big old clumps of tube worms here. Very cool. Each of those have thousands of individuals in them that are hundreds. Those are tube worms, five, hundreds of years old. Some of those, do you think those are little bits that have been bitten out of it by predators? It looks like it. See, oh, yeah. there's a lot of guys that come and snip it, and that's why it goes back inside his tube. Yeah. If you pull it out, it'd be a worm. It'd be a long thing, Maybe, long red yeah. thing. The Not diversity many. of life that exists in the Gulf of Mexico that's based upon all sorts of sources of energy. So if we were to turn around and walk a motor away from this site, we'd be looking at flat life. Yeah, very, this is an oasis. Biomass. You come into a site like this where there's oil and gas seeping up, and you have just tons of animal life, all kinds of other animals coming in. And as you'll see, the temperature at these steps are about three to today. four it's degrees Celsius. Up there, so. Chuck, did okay. you place these good. markers when you were here before? We did. Oh. 